There's nothing worse than getting back to your car to find one of these horrible little yellow parking tickets. Now, this week's guide is how to appeal that parking ticket if it's issued by the local authority. Now, the next thing you need to do is to establish whether you've got grounds of appeal. Here's what they are. The contravention did not occur. So, for example, the ticket says you were parked on double yellow lines when in fact you weren't. Or you simply did not know that you had to pay for a ticket. The signs were too small or in fact non-existent. Or you were loading or unloading a car, so you weren't actually parked in the first place, therefore you shouldn't have got a ticket. Or the penalty charge exceeded the amount applicable in the circumstances of the case. This is fairly common. A table of what the ticket should say in terms of the penalty, log on to www.youandyourrights.co.uk forward slash parking tickets. Or the relevant traffic regulation order is invalid. Now this is a fairly complex ground, which we have clearly explained on www.youandyourrights.co.uk forward slash parking tickets. Or there has been a procedural impropriety by the council. This means that the council was not complied with the regulations made under the Traffic Management Act 2004. For more information on this again, log on to www.youandyourrights.co.uk forward slash parking tickets. The parking ticket was sent you through the post and you received it more than six months after the contravention. In these cases, just simply send the ticket back and tell them that they're out of time. You were not the owner of the vehicle at the time or the vehicle had been stolen. So for example, if the ticket was for the 1st of May 2013, but you only purchased the car on the 1st of June, you can go back to the council and tell them that the previous owner is liable for the ticket. Or alternatively, if you can confirm and therefore prove that the vehicle had been stolen by providing a crime reference number and the date that the vehicle was stolen tallies up with the date of the ticket, again, you will not have to pay for the ticket. Now, you may not have any grounds of appeal, but you may have mitigating circumstances. Getting a ticket while broken down, in other words, you've broken down, therefore you were only parked out of necessity, dropping off someone at a hospital, dropping off someone somewhere else, and therefore you were only parked temporarily, or you were parked for some other reason connected with an emergency. Now, before you drive away, there's some key bits of evidence that you may want to get. For example, if the ticket says you're parked on double yellow lines and you know you're not, grab a picture. Let's say that you didn't know you had to pay and display where you were. There were no signs anywhere, or perhaps the signs were so small that there was no way you were going to see them. Grab a picture, it's all good evidence. Now, in next week's guide, I'll tell you what to do when you get a parking ticket from a private company, and that's where you've parked on private land. It can be a lot more controversial, but the good news is there's a lot more that you can do about it. Yeah.